Hi, my name is Stacy with Plaid Elephant Workouts. If you've reached this point in the classes where you see the pink and green pants, that means it's time for your planking and for your abdominal work. Now, if you have not done anything before this, please take some time to go back to the warm-up class or do some warm-up stretches before you begin. You will be incorporating some of your arms for strength, your legs, and of course, the core. We're going to be planking against the wall. So make sure you stretch ahead of time if you need to. Here is our work plan. We're gonna be taking ourselves to the wall. And good, I have great visibility right here, so you're good. Now I'm gonna move my mat nice and close because I wanna have some traction on the floor. My floor here is very slippery. So be aware of that because we're gonna be taking some steps away from the wall to practice our planking here. So place both of your palms right on the wall. And go ahead and just feel how your legs feel at this position. Maybe your core is kind of just comfortable, not really doing uh, too much. Take a step back and start to gauge the difference in how you feel. Maybe your heels still come down. My heels are still down right here, so this is okay for me. Now, if I wanna do a little bit more, because a traditional plank on the floor, we're up on our toes, right? So we wanna challenge ourselves to work up to our planking. So I'm gonna step back a little bit more and just stand on my tippy toes. So this is pretty far down for me. Maybe I could go a little bit more. And for me right here, my strength is here. I love planking on the floor. So this is a good spot for me where I feel really compatible, like I'm in a plank position. Now next, I want you to gauge where your pelvis is. So I'm here. Okay, I'm up on my toes. Now I can feel my butt, if I do a little emphasis, right? It's right, right sticking out, not in a good place. We wanna keep our spine in line with our pelvis. So tucked in right here, I have a nice line. I can definitely feel the weight on my arms and on my core. Right from here, I'm gonna do a little tiny wall push up. So my elbows are reaching towards the wall. And I can definitely feel a little burn coming on really quickly from this one. You've got four, three, two, and one. Step the nail in, and then just recover. That was one plank, right? Right in that work, because that was just like we were doing a push-up right on the floor. Five more seconds, we'll take it right back to the wall. Get back into the same position that we just had, where you really know that your whole body is kicking on here for this core work. Tuck the pelvis in. Now take one foot, bring it to the top of the heel on the other side. And how does that feel? Do you feel your core having kicked on? Well, maybe you need to adjust, come a little bit in or a little bit out, depending on where your work level is. Hold right here for your second plank. Four, three, two, and step it all down. A little recovery, a little bit less than last time. And we're gonna go and switch so that our opposite leg is on the heel on the opposite foot. Right back into it. Back into your position. And you can see these planks are not super long. We're not here for minutes on end. We're just getting some bearings against the wall, practicing some of our work. So maybe take your arms a little bit lower. I have my light switch here to interfere with what I'm trying to show you, of course. Hold, four, three, two, and go ahead and step it back. All right, so by now, because I'm at the right range for my body weight, my arms are kicking on just as much as if I was sitting on the floor. So that's good plank training for you to keep trying. If you want, reset right here. Practice, practice the two moves, the three moves that we just tried. Or come and meet me and we're gonna try a couple more. So I'm gonna get right back into that positioning. Bring your foot right to the back of that heel again. But right from here, I want you to slowly tap up, tap down, up. And I'm keeping my foot flexed the whole time. And 
up. I'm keeping my tailbone in line with my back. So I'm not lifting up like this. I'm just lifting straight back, straight down. One more. Lower down. Break for five, four, three. We're going to go back two more times. You are going to get there with your planks. All right, step it back. Find your low spot. Pull in your pelvis so your back is all in alignment. Lift the opposite foot. Ready? Breathe in. And then we lift. Down. Lift. Down. Lift. Three. Two. And one. Take it down. Walk it all in. Reset your wrists. Five seconds. One more time, we're gonna do a forearm plank to finish. So this is some awesome, awesome way that you can keep practicing. Bring your elbows in line with your hands so it looks, looks like a number 11. Step it back. You're gonna notice you cannot go as far back this time. Bring your elbows lower. And we should be about shoulder width apart. So I'm gonna put my hand right here on my sign. Hold your forearm plank. Maybe step out a little bit more. Almost the feeling that you could feel like you're gonna fall. But I don't want you to, of course, so be very careful in your plank work. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Step it all in. All right, so that's your practice for your planking. We're gonna end our session. Hopefully you have a spot right against the wall. We're gonna do our ab work right here with our feet up on the wall. So go ahead and come down to your mat. And this is a great way to get some glute work in while you're doing your abdominal work. So you're gonna lay down, and when you come down, your feet could be right up against the wall right here. Okay? All right, big deep breath in and out. We're gonna do some ab work. Press both of your heels into the floor. Bring your hands up behind your head. And you're gonna start just with a basic good old shoulder crunch or a chest lift if you wanna call it. Breathe in and then exhale out. And up, keeping your elbows out to the sides. Yes, four more. Three, two, and one. Now cross one leg over. Get a nice little stretch in by bouncing your foot off the wall. Bring it back. Now lift, squeeze, lower, and then lift the chest. So we press into the wall, lifting the glutes up off the floor. Lower down, crunch. Let's get it up to tempo. We go up and then lift the chest. Lift, press, and lift, press, and lift. Two more, lift, one, and one. Good, other side. So I want you to do it at a tempo pace, but make sure that you're not going to be pulling at your neck. It's a fine line between the control you get with it and the work. All right, here we go. Lift, squeeze up, lower down, lift the chest. Down, lift and squeeze, and lift. Keep your knee facing out towards the side as you lower and lift. Up, lift, and up. Now to tempo, lift, crunch up, lift, abdominals up, lift, and up. Lift, ooh, I can feel those. Two more, lift, one, and lift. Good, bring your knees into your chest. And then meet me for the last segment. The last part is going to be a nice cool down and stretch. So if you're not going to do my next video, please make sure you do something on your own. Each of these videos should always be done with a warm up and a stretch at the end. See you soon.